So I'm now going to start the build. Uh, there are no instructions with this kit, but the uh, PCB is uh, nicely labelled up. Um, I've uh, listed all the uh, resistors down here. Um, it's obvious which ones these first three are because there's a different number of each one. But at this uh, end here we've got uh, three different sized resistors so I've put the colour code down here. Um, I'm going to start with the resistors and then go capacitors and then basically go up in size order. I don't think this is going to take very long to do so I'm just going to uh, let the camera run as I do it. Soldering iron's already hot and I'm using a uh, lead tin solder. Uh, it's actually a uh, half mil thick which I prefer to use. Um, I'm going to see how long this takes. So you can see I've already preformed the resistors so I'm just going to place them in the board and zoom in a bit. Oh, wrong way. Starting with the 20s. Okay, next we go for the turns. Looking good so far. Now the two 10Ks, uh, sorry, two 100 kilograms. Now the three oddball ones. I'm going to start with the uh, 220 because that's the easiest one to identify because it starts red or red. And go for the 100 ohm, that's uh, brown, black, 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 brown. And the last one is the uh, 12k, which is uh, brown, red, black, red, black. So that's all the uh, resistors done. I'm just going to uh, trim these up and then start again. So I've had a bit of a uh, tidy up underneath and uh, I'm now going to move on to the capacitors. There are only two different types of capacitors. Um, the board is marked 104 which um, in this case are the little uh, bead ones here. And you can see 104 written on it and the other two are the 22Ps which are the ceramics. So I'm just going to put those in now. You're going to have to be careful with these little uh, capacitors because uh, the leg spacing is uh, too small for the uh, PCB. Can't have it too high because it's got to uh, fit under the chip. Should just about get the uh, chip holder in there now. I'm going to now put the uh, crystal in, just holding that in place with my finger under the board while oh, I saw all these bits. There we go. Just tidy up the underside and I think I'm going to put the uh, chip holder on. Obviously you've got to uh, keep an eye on the notch, which is here and there. Just about. Okay, I'm just holding it underneath the board. I saw the first couple of bits. Check it's all okay. Yep, and then go for it. If you've uh, never soldered before, this is quite a nice little uh, board to uh, practice on good selection of components to try with. 
no surface mounts, so bad little board. Okay, happy with that. Now go for the uh, smaller out pin chip holder again. Watch the notch. Okay. Now I'm going to solder these uh, pins um, and the corresponding socket that uh, mounts the LCD. Um, I'm going to do the socket to the board and then the pins to the display. I don't think it really matters but I prefer to do it this way. And then I'm going to do the uh, other four-way connector which is for the power. Next I think I'll go for the buttons. Um, these will only fit one way. If you've managed to fit it the wrong way you've done quite well. Okay, they look okay. Let's uh, go for it. Coming together really quite nicely. Let's go for small pot now. This is the uh, 10k um, LCD contrast one. You see, it's got a 103 written on it. And obviously, this can only go in one way. Okay, good. And then we're going to go for the uh, two adjustment pots. One has got 102 on it, and that is uh, 10 with two noughts, so that is 1K. The other one isn't marked. And then this one, there's the other one, which is uh, 50K, so quite a vast difference. Um, it's got no markings on it. Showing about 13 minutes at the moment, so with the resistors, it's probably about uh, 20 minutes so far. And I'm going to put these in. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So, last bits. And that is the board done. And obviously the last bit is to uh, put the chips in. And it's important you get the chips in the right direction. Before I do that, I'm just going to solder these pins onto the LCD. We're now on the last bit, it's time to uh, position the chips. You need to uh, watch out for uh, bent pins like we've got here. Just need to straighten those up before I uh, put that in. And a bit of a bend the legs in to make it fit nicely as well. Notch in the right place to this side. Check everything's in line. It's okay, push it down. And same for this little one, make sure the pins are in line. Squish them in a bit. And position it. Notches there. Put the LCD on. get two posts to mount this. So there you have it. That's the whole thing built in under half an hour. So now we've got to test it. Here's a little problem. This uh, piece of test equipment 
uh, needs plus and minus 12 volts and 5 volts. Um, so for the time being all I'm going to do is give it 5 volts and that will uh, power everything bar the uh, op amp. And uh, I'm just going to put a little oscilloscope on the output of the chip just so we can see what it does. That way I only have to run it off 5 volts. OK, so I've powered it up. As I explained, I've just powered it with 5 volts of ground and I've uh, connected this little pocket oscilloscope onto the output of the chip. Um, so it's not connected to the op amp, so I've got no adjustment on the pots for uh, offset and gain, but I can see the uh, raw output from the uh, chip. Um, so everything seems to be working. Um, you've got various options. When the device is in the off position, as indicated here, you can uh, change the frequency by going left and right. And if you go up and down, it changes from the various modes. So you've got sawtooth, triangular, square, sine wave, high speed square wave, I think that is, and then a noise random. And then we've even got an ECG, and all you have to do is go to the one you want, set the frequency you want by going up and down, and then just press start. Hopefully you can see that in the little graph there. Yeah, I think you can see that. So that's the ECG. I'll just stop that and then sawtooth. That's not too bad. And we'll go to triangular. Not bad. Noise, random. That's a strange one. There you go, random. Random noise. So there you go, that's uh, quite a successful uh, little project. And I hope you enjoyed this build.